Hey guys, Dr. Mark coming at you hot from my couch. Actually, it's not hot out. It's a little bit chilly, but anyways, I am coming at you from my couch because what time is it? Almost noon. We've been done adjusting for a few hours now on Tuesday. So if you missed us today, tomorrow's the perfect time to get on and give us a call. 893-3150. Ooh, is that the right phone number? I think so. Anyways, that's not why I wanted to chat today. I wanted to chat today because, oh, and that's also why I'm cashing it up, cashing it up, listen to me, <laughs> um, wearing the Viking shirt, because they had a game last night. And I wouldn't say that I'm a wishy-washy fan, but I did have to Google before I got on here, because I was like, oh, what am I wearing? Is this appropriate? Did they win or did they lose? Google told me that they won. So, I'm not a wishy-washy fan. I'm a fan, but do I watch? Nah. If they lose, shoot next time. If they win, cool. There's another game next time. But anyways, so if you haven't figured out by now, our Facebook posts, videos, efforts are a, it's a team thing. We all get to post on Facebook. And so a couple weeks ago, I wanted to put a post um, up that said something to the extent of progress has little to do with the speed and everything to do with direction. And... Um, Dr. T kind of <laughs> looked at it and was like, that's not going to make sense to most people. Get rid of that one. But I think it is a really great thing um, to maybe go into a little bit more detail about. So that's what I'm going to do. So again, the quote, sentence, phrase, whatever that I wanted to share was, progress has little to do with speed and everything to do with direction. So essentially, progress over perfection, hence the title of this post. And um, a lot of people think that if they can't go all out, if things don't flip around 180 degrees right that second, that it's not worth doing. Be it with eating right, be it with working out, being it with chiropractic care. Mm, see how this ties together? So, uh, this past, we're on day nine now of our cleanse. Tomorrow's the last day. So, we got, today we got to incorporate back in, like, all fruits and vegetables and things like that. And I, for the past, well, since Christmas, I got a juicer for Christmas. And so, um, I've been juicing a lot. Some days it could, some days it couldn't on the cleanse. But anyways, I got back in juice. So, this morning, I have a concoction. I had some fruits and veggies that were going to go bad in my fridge. So, this one, there's a little bit more stuff in here than there normally is. Um, this is, what is in here? Carrots, celery, beet, sweet potato, lemon, peach, strawberries. Weird combination, I know. Um, but like I said, I had stuff in my fridge that was going to go bad. I wanted to use it, so I'm drinking juice today. Um, and this also ties in, I am by no means a nutrition expert. We told you that on our last Wednesday live that we are, um, same as everybody out there doing the best that we can. I know that I don't get enough fruits and veggies, therefore I juice because I, I know that I can't get enough fruits and veggies in my day. So that's why I juice. Does that mean since I don't get enough fruits and veggies, that I just quit trying altogether? No, no. Same thing with working out. Do I, can I go out and run a 13 mile jog today? I would die. Someone would need to come get me. You guys would have to pick me up on the side of the road. I probably wouldn't be getting any good tomorrow, but I try. I'm not fast and I can't do 13 miles, but I'm getting there. I'll, I'll work up to it. The same thing goes with chiropractic care. We recommend and encourage people to get on care plans not because we're like oh this is gonna be fun I wanna see how this is gonna mess up their schedules first of all we love you people so we want to see you multiple times a week second of all because like I just said the end goal is not the end goal it is all about the journey so um this kind of ties in last week, too, when I was locked out and telling you about how things are changing, even if you don't realize that they are, because they are. Um, but when you think things aren't changing or things aren't getting better or um, what else, 
can it be? What else can you do? What else is missing? Um, quote unquote, nothing. Nothing else is missing. Nothing else is wrong. Healing takes time. Your body is not just black and white. There are a lot of working pieces in this old, I was gonna say in this old girl, Ooh, digging on myself this morning. There are a lot of working pieces in the body. And as chiropractors, we know that they all work together. I shouldn't say as chiropractors. That's what we encourage people to learn more about, that the body all works together. And so when you are starting out with care or getting back into care, we encourage you to get on a care plan, not because one adjustment is going to magically take care of your headaches or your allergies or your infertility problem or whatever, because they each build on each other. And that's all part of it. The beautiful thing about progress is that it's progress. It is always going. So just like when you're working out and you're feeling great and you're like, you know what? I'm feeling good. I probably don't need to do this anymore. Does that make any sense? No. You know that the strength, mobility, flexibility, speed, all those things that you built up to with your workouts only continues if you continue the workouts. It's the same with chiropractic care. The end goal isn't being pain-free. The end goal is a beautifully functioning body. So, um, where else was I going to say? I had all of these great, like, memes. Maybe not memes. Little f funny, witty sayings, like, progress over perfection and all of that stuff. And now they're all escaping me. So, hopefully my witty banter was enough to keep your attention. But, anyways, um... Like I said, with everything, progress over perfection. Same thing applies with chiropractic care. If you think it's not changing, nothing's improving. It is. I also said this last week, but I'm saying it again today. So, there's my random fun thought for the day. I hope everyone enjoys what is left. What is left? It's, it's like halfway through. I shouldn't say what is left. Everybody enjoy this Tuesday. Bye-bye.